Hey, what's up everyone? It's Jim Lee and today I'll be doing the MTB Pro Box Slam on my kayak. Let's go. Alright guys, I am doing my Pro Slam today in South Jersey water and this is my official first time doing the slam. Um, if you guys have not seen me unbox this guy right here, which is um, MTP Pro Box, I have done it in a video not too long ago. You guys can check out the top right hand corner or the description below so that you guys can see what the content of this box. But I do have a game plan and today my goal is to first try to get the top water guys. Uh, I got a Sammy and then also I have a jerk bait. I think these are gonna be my two main concerns because if you guys look out here, it's a lot of lilies and you guys may not see it yet, but surrounding the lilies is something, it's called like a black hair algae or whatever, but I'd call it the ring because it's like when you're fishing and these stuff and your treble hook gets stuck on it, man, it's almost like in the movie, the ring with all that black hair crap. Anyway guys, let's try to do a slam. All right guys, just in case you guys have not seen my unboxing and you guys don't plan to see my unboxing, let's just go through a couple lures right now. So we have a Bangalore. This is the jerk bait right here. All right. Uh, I got the Lucky Craft Sammy. Ow, 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 it's very sharp. Right here, which I'm gonna start off first. So I'm gonna put it on the side of my kayak. We got some jigs, all right. And we got some tiny jigs from Z-Man. And then we have some crawls. So basically I have two jigs and two trailers. So uh, basically, I'm basically condensing these guys from four items to two items because I'm going to use them. So technically, I have one, two, three, and four. Four items, uh, four lures that I need to use to catch a fish. So it sounds pretty simple, but again, my biggest challenge right now are the weed lines. And right now, it is officially, let's take a look at the time. It is almost nine o'clock, so I am uh, going to struggle a little bit trying to get some top water. But let's get it out there quickly as possible. All right, guys, I typed a loop knot, the crazed loop, loop knot here on the Sammy. I'm hoping that the loop knot will give it a little bit more of a swing so that I can entice these fish to hit. So I guess my best bet is try to get these guys near the edge of weed beds. The good thing about today is that I could actually stand in my kayak. It's not that windy. And I could just do my best and hopefully it will do really well. This is a beautiful walk the dog. I really like this Sammy. Uh, the black hair guys. It's real. The struggle is real. Peel them off. Get, them, get off the hook. Yeah. Any little piece of these algae are here, it's gonna throw off my, actually my lure. So you gotta get them off really good. Oh, it's, it doesn't walk anymore. I wonder why, hmm. Let's take a look. Pretty damn obvious, isn't it? Pretty damn obvious. Yes! Oh! First fish! Yes! Is, is it fast? It's the last one! Gotta land it, gotta land it, gotta land it! Yeah! <laughs> Dude! First freaking bass doing the MTB slam, baby! I, I don't want to flap on me because that's a lot of trouble hooks right there. Yes! Holy smokes, baby! Oh, I am so excited. I'm so stoked, guys. All right, let me put this guy back and let me jump onto my next lure. Holy smokes, after I don't know how long. I think I was casting this for. Let's take a look at time very quick, guys. Oh, I don't I don't remember when I started, but I probably put it on some sort of a layover, a text layover, to show you guys how long I was actually casting this uh, Sammy. But man, the black hair death. The struggle is so real. 
I am so happy that I caught a bass with this. And he smashed that guy. Holy smokes. All right, let's keep going. I'm gonna move on to the next one. I think I'm gonna do the jerk bait because I'm gonna head towards one side of the lake that's a little bit deeper. And I believe this dies two to three feet and I'll be covering with water. Hoping I get something really nice with this. Another bass will be great, but uh, there are pickerels here. So as long as I catch a pickerel, it should be good to go. All right, guys, the Bagley's Bangalore. It's some sort of a shad color, I guess, but I don't think we have fish this color in this state. Actually, that bass that I caught a second ago was pretty damn dark itself. So I'm hoping that, you know, something gonna strike this lure based on territorial predator instinct or whatnot. So I am kind of limited on the casting ability of this guy right here. But it's not too bad. I got thick line, so this guy won't dive too too bad, I don't think. So as long as I get to this side right there, do some twitching of it. This twitching right here looks deadly on pickerels for sure. I actually like this action right there. I don't know if you guys watch my freaking fishing trip at Lock Raven. My insane jerk bait skills, man, get me a lot of pickerels. The question is, are there enough pickerels here to even come and strike my freaking lure? I got a fish. Oh my gosh. Oh no, it came off. Oh, come on, dude. Oh no, I had a nice one. Shoot, 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 shoot. Bangalore, Tangalore, the heck? How did this happen? Been having a tough time, guys. I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit. Oh, I got a fish, I got a fish. Ah, oh, yes. Dude, I need to land this one. I need to land this one. He's stuck in the weeds. It's a pickerel. Oh no, or a bass. I can't tell. Whew. Dude, it's a nice bass. It's a really re freaking nice bass. Dude. Dude. <laughs> oh, snaps. Dude, look at this guy. I knew it, man. I've been having a trouble, a uh, hard time getting these bass to freaking bite, but I threw it into a pocket. And I land this guy right here. Let me get all the freaking treble hooks off. All right, dude, the Bangalore. Dude, I'm halfway there, guys. Tickle the belly to make the fins flare. Anyway, guy, big guy. Oh, man, thank you for the fight. In you go. Ooh, I'm so hyped, guys. Oh, this is freaking insane, guys. It's called a bass butt. I knew I was gonna run into this issue right here if I were to cast in there so many times. It's this black hair death, but you know what? Like I said, you gotta risk it for the biscuit. And I just got myself a biscuit. All right, guys, so two down, four to go. I'm gonna jump right into the Jig and Pig. This Jig and Pig came from Stan Sloan Zorro Bait Company. This is their Booza Brush Bug. And I am supposed to pair it with here we go, Charlie's Worms, their Charlie's Chunk, avocado color. Black and blue and green, look, it's like all three colors right here, all in one. All right, this is finally tied on, looks pretty good. Two baits in one. If I knock this one out right here, it's just minus two more from the list. Let's keep it up, guys. Give me some flippy pitchies. Maybe very soon, guys. Very soon. Hopefully. Oh, come on. It was a small bass. I saw my line move. And I was reeling it in. And I missed it. Because he was swimming towards me. 
soccer. Dang. Here we go. Here we go. Not a big one, but you know what? I got it. So I'm gonna take it and off to my next and final lure. Holy smokes. Got him. I knew I didn't, uh, wasn't uh, feeling crazy a second ago. Jig and piggy is my, one of my favorite lures back in the day. So I felt that guy. All right. Dang, look at him. Small guy. But you know what? You de deserve to be on video because you're part of MTB Slam today. All right, guys. I got a small little bass on a Booza brush, uh, brush bug with the Charlie Worms. Now I'm going through the Z-Man stuff. Here's the Z-Man jig. It's pretty cool because it has two little freaking um, weed guards right here. So I have a feeling that it's although it's going to be weedless, I can't really snag it really well. I have a feeling that it's still going to pick up those black hair of death. There's no escape. I repeat, there is no escape from the black hair of death. Jig is on. You can put the crusties 10 time tough tough yeah i'm so excited i'm like stuttering look at this super toughness tough guy you're going right back in the water right here and catching me some awesome freaking bass dude this thing is like hard to put on because it's like so rubberish it just keep bouncing back and forth i can't even slide it back onto the shank all right guys, this is how the final, well not the final product because I kind of don't like it because I can't really see my trailer moving around once it's in the water. So what I'm going to do is trim some of the silicone just a little bit. You know, a couple spots here and there. I don't need too, too much. And that should, that should be okay. I only trimmed just a little bit. So it looks, doesn't look that much, but to me, I'm looking at my kayak with all the stuff that flew, uh, fell out. It's, it's a lot, so let's get going. It wasn't too long when I said this thing uh, won't escape the black hair death. I was right. Beautiful flower. Oh, I spooked something right there. Hopefully, it oh, 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 ah, yes, yes, <laughs> dude, I completed a slam with a dink. <laughs> oh, snaps, oh, snaps, oh, snaps, guys. This, this is the winner right here. Final, final fish. And you know what? I don't know what the heck happened, guys. It took forever to land this one little fish. Maybe because. Uh, I keep getting this into hair, uh, algae, and I'm just unable to get any fish to bite it. Uh, oops. Dang it. The weed guards are nice against weeds, but it's not completely weedless. But dude, I am so stoked. I completed, completed the slam with this guy right here. Off you go, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, guys. I am stoked. This is my very first completion of the MTB slam and man that was that was pretty fun it was certainly challenging I spent a lot of time on the Sammy first because I came to the lake pretty late and I was not getting any good you know uh, signs of any activity and I finally threw the Sammy into uh, a bunch of lilies where there's an open spot and it hammered it almost immediately same goes with the jerk bait and I was so happy that I didn't need to deal with the black hair death with jerkbait. Um, and the two jigging pigs got landed those bass and there I am. My first, very first completed MTB slam and I completed the pro box. Anyway guys, um, I really, really appreciate it. You guys let me know if you guys want to see more of these type of challenges, MTB box. I would be happy to give it a shot a couple more times. Um, that is if you guys are interested. 
So let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. And until next time, tight lines.